Even after a fabulous session like we had today, it's hard to forget that we're still in a pretty darn difficult moment, one where the vast bulk of retailers have gotten pounded. But we did bounce today. At times like this, I need to remember something that F. Scott Fitzgerald was right about. The rich really are different, not just because they have more money, also because they keep spending it even when everybody else is hunkered down and waiting for the pain to stop. Consider Brunswick Corporation, B.C., a total maker of playthings for the rich. It's true. Brunswick is the number one maker of boats on Earth, including everything from fishing boats and motor yachts, like my own beloved 17-foot Boston Whaler, along with boat engines, billiards tables, fitness machines, got one of those, two of theirs, and bowling equipment. I flood it with their stuff. Fully three-quarters of the company's sales, although uh, they come from boats and boat engines, which is why I made Brunswick a member of my Gatsby Index, designed to measure the strength of the high-end consumer. Now, Brunswick reported at the worst possible moment last week, Thursday morning before the open, right at the start of the three-day period where the market got a you know what? Brunswick's numbers were pretty darn good. Company earned 15 cents a share, two cent beat on higher than expected revenues that rose 8.6% year over year. And while I think management's guidance was conservative, the stock still managed to jump more than two bucks from 40 to $42. And I got to tell you, that is, it was pretty heinous day that it reported. Since then, though, Brunswick's given up most of that move. The stock's now less than a dollar above where it was before the quarter came out. Now, I first recommended this stock two years ago, and since then, it's given you a 97% return. Lately, though, it's pulled back about six points from its highs. This could be the rare buying opportunity we need for a fabulous company. Let's check in with Dusty McCoy, the chairman and CEO of Brunswick Corporation, find out more about his company's prospects. Mr. McCoy, welcome to Mad Money. How are you, Hi, sir? Hi, Jim. I'm, I'm great. Have Thank a seat. for having me. Now, I have to tell you, it is funny. I mean, I, you're synonymous with everything I love. I mean, I, I love the bowl. Um, I have your life fitness workout machines in my place, and I have a Boston Whaler, and it's it's unbelievable. We love people like you. Well, no, it is, and, but I didn't. But I really don't think of them as Brunswick. I think about That's them as true. the individual That's companies. It, it's, is it just? I mean, you've got so many different labels under the roof of Brunswick. Do people really know that it's all you? You know, actually, they don't. And they many don't, times, right? Jim, I meet people, and they say, "Hey, you're the bowling guys, or you're the billiards guys." Right. And most people don't know we're in the boat business, or the engine business, or well, even the fitness business. Well, because well, when I bought the Boston Whaler, I didn't know it was Brunswick. Is that right? I okay. just looked at what was the Consumer Report said the best. Yeah. What people told me was unsinkable, and it was you. And I think that a lot of your boat names people aren't familiar with. They just know them as as the best in, of breed. Yeah. That's right. And, and actually, we do that on purpose because we want our brands to have their own identity in the marketplace. It's a very fragmented market, and they need to compete well without having the Brunswick name tagging along. Okay, and we well, do a good job at it. Yes, you sure do. Okay, let me ask you. Uh, it, was something, it was brought up on the conference call, but it's an interesting issue. Mm -hmm. The, the um, My generation, we can afford it. Fortunately, I, mean, I saved up. Mm -hmm. I've got it you know, done, done well. And sure. when you do well, you get the harder thing for me to find is a slip to put the boat in than the boat itself. Yeah. Are, are younger people... I always hear, you know, you know, younger people aren't doing as well. The incomes aren't up. It's so much harder to find a job. Is there a problem here with just the age group and having the wealth to buy your products? Actually not. Uh, okay. We follow statistically what the age of boat buyers are. And, and we did have a dip right in the middle of the recession, Jim. Okay. With people, let's say, 25 to 35. We began to notice the last two years that has begun to pick up. Yes. We've actually seen a few more buyers over 65, but we've also seen more in the 45 to 55 range. And, and here's a bunch of research we've done. Okay. We, we, re, we surveyed people in Europe, Canada, the United States, and Brazil. Those are the biggest boating markets right. in the world. And a fundamental question was, is boating still going to be relevant? Right. That's what I want to know, because mm -hmm. I think it is. And the answer is it is. Huh? The answer is yes. We, we had two findings from that, both of which were very good news for us. So the people we surveyed, this is in the 90th percentile, okay. Jim, all believe that boating is one of the great recreational activities in the world. So when you start there, then everything else becomes easy, right? Right. Then you've got to get the product right, get the cost right, get the styling right, add features, et cetera. And that's what we're hard at work on. So we're very relaxed about this industry. Well, that's great because it, I th I'm one of those people. I'm Good. one of those people. It's Thank just you. a great recreational thing. Now. Uh, the numbers out of the United States, the numbers out of Europe were incredibly strong. Mm -hmm. How do you explain This is Europe? in the fourth quarter. Yes, in the fourth yes. quarter. How do you explain Europe being so strong? Uh, a couple of things. We brought a bunch of new models to the marketplace okay. there. And, and again, in any product company, new sales with great features. And we really hit that market hard with a bunch of new models and, and great features. Here in the U.S., a couple of things happened in the fourth quarter. The aluminum market, so let me put it this way, anything with an outboard on it, mm -hmm. aluminum, pontoon, saltwater fishing, freshwater fishing, have all been growing significantly. And we wanted to get boats positioned in our dealer network as we're coming into the season so that they could do well. 
And smaller fiberglass product, which has been a difficult right. place in the market to be, we had a bunch of new product coming, so we wanted that into the dealer network so we could get ready for the selling season. And it all worked. Uh, it's working, and, and now we got to sell it at retail, but we're confident we will. Okay. Now, uh, the, light, the Life Fitness, which is what I have, is not a cheap machine. I got these are expensive machines, but your numbers are big. Is that clubs buying them, or is that people having in home gym? No, we don't really go after the consumer the gym to any right. great extent. Only about 10% of our sales are into the consumer segment. So we position ourselves to be high end, very high quality. Right. They're going to a club, hospitality, hotels, et cetera. And all the growth in the fourth quarter was led primarily by clubs. And, and in fact, that was a global gym, not just okay. the United States uh, and hospitality. All right. So where are we with bowling? Where is bowling right now? And again, I mean, you know, I, I'm pretty good. I'm not as great as I used to be. But okay. I, uh, I, I just always find that bowling is something that when you have kids, that's what they want to do. Sure. That's where my parties have been. Yeah. I just, we just like it. Is, it, is, that, gener is that generational? Is that st uh, the new generation uh, liking bowling as much? Uh, something very interesting is going on at bowling, so we're working hard to participate in it. You know, bowling for decades has been built, Jim, around a league bowl. Yes. Yes, and which I always hated because <clears> they, they always had the good lanes. <laughs> yeah. The, the league bowlers, in general, have begun to decline okay. in numbers. That's probably because it takes a lot of time. You've got to make right. a commitment for a long period of time, et cetera. So what we had begun to notice, there's a new class of bowling center that involves much more fun than bowling as a sport. Good food, great customer service, big game rooms, et cetera. So what we've been doing this year, we've opened three pilots, two in the Atlanta area, one in the Chicago area. Entirely new concept for us. Uh, the Atlanta area's con uh, concepts have been open now for six months, home run. We're tickled to death with it. The Chicago one we opened in October. Got a little more work to do to hmm. prove the concept. But we're very relaxed now that we know what the centers of the future look like, and now we've got to begin to formulate a plan around that. Uh, one last question, because uh, uh, Brooklyn Bowl is a big hot place right where I live. Yeah, yeah, sure. One last question. People who had their boats destroyed in Sandy, they all got new boats, didn't they? Not yet. No? Not yet. And, and, and the reason is, and it's, it makes good sense, they first need to take care of their home, right. then right. their car, right. things like that, then they collect their insurance money. And when we had all the hurricanes in 2005 on, on the southeast Gulf right. Coast, we saw those people begin to come back two, three, four, five years well, out. So that's so still ahead for you that's guys. That's still ahead for us. Excellent. Yeah. What a great story. It's Dusty McCoy, Chairman CEO of Brunswick Corporation, a great American company and a great American stock. Stay with Kramer. Coming up, time to take control of your future, Kramerica. Kramer's reimagining your Roth IRA when he opens his playbook. And later, perfect harmony? When you're looking for love, people do strange things, like spending loads of cash. Online dating has become a multi-billion dollar industry. And to give you the outlook on where the money's headed this Valentine's Day, Kramer's calling in a specialist. Go off the tape with eHarmony just ahead. Plus, the bird didn't fly today. So, what do you do with Twitter now? All coming up on Mad Money.